guys what's up how are you guys doing <laughs> hope you guys are good so you're welcome to another great tutorial with your girl any Ola for e28 fashion school e20 is so fun okay so guys how are you doing how is everything with you hope you're good okay today we are looking at how to make this wonderful design okay now let me tell you a bit backstory about this this dress why it's so special <laughs> okay this dress is one by one of the movies that is on on the wave right now in on Netflix Nigeria okay and that is King of Boys okay King of Boys all right now um, the main character she wore so many wonderful designs and this is part of my favorite looks that she had the designer which is um tiana okay tiana empire she did wonderful job with the design so Sally, she did a wonderful job with the design so today i said i'm going to take one of my favorite look from the movie king of boys and and then show you how to make the pattern okay and then i just went for this okay i love this this is wonderful i love the design i love um how they played with the lines and and um, the silhouette is wonderful I love the silhouette <laughs> a lot okay all right guys so let's get to work okay so what you would need for this design is just to draft to your bodies okay now before I continue if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please hit hit smash it smash it I'm not saying you should smash your phone okay smash that subscribe button and so that you don't miss anything yes I'm always having interesting you know you know mind-blowing um, tutorial for you so what you need for this tutorial is you just need to have your bodies draft to your waist it can be darted bodies or dartless bodies anyone so if you if you haven't seen my video on how to draft that less bodies i'm going to leave the link somewhere i don't know share but i'll just leave the link somewhere so that you just smash it and then you go and watch how to make that less bodies this is a dotted bodies okay so it doesn't matter if it's that or that less bodies okay so let's get to work so i will start with my front bodies okay i will start with my front bodies okay please note that you just need to draft your bodies to your waist okay and and then the other process you can decide to do it directly on your fabric but i'm going to do it on another paper so that you can see the effect you can see how um you can see how it goes okay but you can do it on your fabric okay so let's say let's imagine this a paper yes this is a paper actually but let's say okay this is a pattern and this is my fabric okay so what i want to do is i want to get my paper now this paper is just imagine is also your fabric okay so i'll place it like so so you, if it's off if it's if this is your fabric you can fold it you, you can fold it okay you can fold it but since i'm now i'm working with a pattern so i'm just going to use uh, i'm just going to do it on the pattern okay <laughs> from this pattern okay so i'm going to take this okay so from this pattern all right you want to measure your dress length wherever you want the the cape okay so now this is what i have right i have just moved it okay so from the top i'm going to get my um dress length okay so from the top you get your dress length um for this i'll be using 16 okay i'll be using 16 all right and then you want to draw the line across okay you want to draw the line across so this is your dress length all right so the next thing you want to do you want to determine how big you want the hem to be so how big the hem will be will determine how um how big the whole jacket um cape will look like okay so and how do you get that what you do is use your hip so use your hip measurements and then add whatever um design is you want to you want to add okay so for instance if i want um if my hip is 40 okay and then if I want it big I can decide to add 10 inches to that 40 okay or decide to add 5 inches to that 40 and then divide by 4 okay so that's what I will use to get this point okay so um, for this 
okay so now this center front line i'm going to extend it down to the waist also okay i'm going to extend it down to the waist yeah the center front i'm going to extend not the waist sorry i'm going to extend it down to my dress length okay so this is my dress length all right so the next thing i want to do is like i said you want to get your hip plus your design ease okay so how much free how much fullness do you want how big do you want the the um the cape to be okay so for this i'll be using eight inch okay so that means eight inch that means um Okay, that means so for <coughs> so for this I'll be using eight inch. Okay, that means thirty two divided by um, by four. Okay, so I added design is I added and more I added like three inch. I added like three inch because this is a miniature mannequin, so you can decide to add like five or depend on how big you want it really. So um, for mine. I'm going to add uh, for this I'm just going to add like two inch okay or four inch okay depends <laughs> all right so now I have it so I got when I divided it I got eight okay so this is my eight here so I'm going to mark this as my eight okay so this is my eight now we are moving to the neck to the shoulder okay so what you want to do on the shoulder all right on the shoulder parts let me zoom in so that you'll be able to see it okay on this shoulder part remember this is my armhole this is my neckline okay so what i'll do is at the armhole at this point okay look at it at the armhole here i'll move up okay at the arm the, at the armhole on shoulder i will move up by half inch okay but because it's a miniature i'm going to use two eight okay but you use half inch so you move up by this so can you see it so the next thing you want to do is very very simple so you take from you take your shoulder and neckline here connect it to this point and to this with a curb line that's all okay so you take it from here Can you see it? <laughs> All right. So that's how you just shape it. Okay. So that will determine. Can you see that the hem? Can you see that you the design is you add to the um, to the hip to get your hem width? Okay. That will determine how big this this stuff is going to be. Okay. That will determine how big it's going to be. All right. So now you have this. Okay. So now we want to create the opening. All right. So now you want to create the opening. Okay. So now you want to create this opening okay so how do you do it it's quite simple all right guys <clears throat> all right guys so um i didn't realize that my camera wasn't recording so what happened what i did is i reduced i discovered that if i use eight inches divided by four uh, um yeah multiply by four for my uh, if i use eight inches here it's going to be way big for my for the miniature okay so i decided to reduce it okay so when you are drawing it you see how big it is okay all right so i decided to, to adjust it and make it smaller okay so i can you see i just draw it okay so the next thing you want to do on your waistline heck okay on your waistline you want to go in by two inch okay so here i am doing one because it's a miniature okay by two inch here okay so from this point you are going to go in by five inch okay now this i am doing this by uh because i'm doing this so here i'm taking 2.5 because it's a miniature okay i'm taking 2.5 okay so you take five inch now the next thing now this will be your center points of your radio so you want to draw a radius okay now the radius is going to the radius you are going to use will be 2.5 okay so if you have a protractor or a compass sincerely i don't know <laughs> i don't know which one but that one that you put a pencil and then you round it okay that's um, you just draw a round line okay so this is the point here okay this is the um this is the point on your waistline okay so you need to get your waistline okay so 
I'm using this. So this is my dough. Here is slanted because the dart there was a dart. Okay. So if it's dartless, it should just be straight. Okay. So here, can you see? So here, I came in here by two. From here, I measured what? I measured um, five inch. Okay. Now. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that if I repeat the same five inch at towards here, it will not get to this point. Okay, so what determines it is it, how wide this is. Okay, so for 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 instance, if I decide that okay this length I want it here. If I draw this here, can you see if I draw it? Let's say here. Okay, if I draw it, let's say here. I'm using here. Okay, and let's say this line is here. If I do 2.5, you can see that it's on the line. Okay, that means I need to reduce the radius. All right. If you don't understand, please rewatch. <laughs> okay. So here, two inch, 2.5. Then on this 2.5, you want to also measure 2.5. So make sure that it doesn't get to this point. Okay. So if it's getting to this point, that means I'm going to reduce that 2.5. I'm going to uh, sorry that five inch, not 2.5, because I'm using a miniature, okay, so you come in 2 inch, 5 inch, you repeat 5 inch, if the 5 inch is getting here, you have to reduce the 5 inch, so you come in back to this 2 inch, and then you retake, you re so if I do 5 inch, if it's getting here, I'll reduce it to maybe 4.5 or 4 inch, so that it doesn't get to this line, okay, it doesn't get here, okay, alright, so the next thing I want to, now this is your center point, so what you want, of, this is your center point so you want to draw a circumference okay okay so the radius that we are using here is 2.5 okay so we go 2.5 so if you don't have a um, if you don't have a protractor or a compass <laughs> I can't I can't really uh, I don't is it a compass they call it or a protractor I'm not sure now okay so you take it this way Okay, so you can use you can use your um, what is it called? You can use your tape to do this. Okay, even if you don't have a um, protractor or a compass. <laughs> oh God, this thing is so funny. Like maybe it's because I have stopped schooling. So usually I don't have it in the studio. I just use my tape just to do it this way. Okay. But if you have a, prot a compass or a protractor, please let me know in the comment section. Maybe it's a protractor or a compass. <laughs> Anyo. Hope I'm not alone do like this. <laughs> okay, so can you see the radius, right? So if you have it, you just turn it and then once. Okay, so I'm going to draw the round stop like so. Okay, so I'm going to connect the, I'm going to connect the, um, what is it called? I'm going to connect the, the points that I did. Okay, the radius, I'm going to connect them to give me a nice core, um, round line. Okay, so can you see it? Can you see what we have here? Can you see what we have here? Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I would do is, um, well, yeah. That's all. That's all what I would do for now. Okay, so I'm going to um, cut this out. All right, I'm going to cut this out. So if this is your fabric, okay, here on the neckline, you need to add your sewing allowance, add your sewing allowance, add your sewing allowance to the front, okay, because the front is not cut on fold. All right, the front is not cut on fold. So Okay, so can you see it? Okay, so the next thing I'll do, I will cut this straight. Okay, so can you see it? Okay, so now this is my center front, this is the side. Okay, so for this part, you are if even if it's a fabric or you are working with the pattern, just make this um, slants. Okay. And then you want to cut out that um, circumference, okay? Okay, so I'm going to use my tape just to hold, um, just to hold this down, okay?
don't look at the dart i'm not concerned about the dart the dart has nothing to do even though there's a dart there it's not effective just leave it or you dart you draft a dartless bodies i will put a link in the description box so that you see how to draft a dartless bodies okay so we have this so can you see it okay so when you cut now when you are cut if this is your fabric when you are cutting please on this rate don't cut on your radius you need to come in again by half inch come in half inch half inch and cut okay if you are doing a pattern like this place it on your fabric add your sewing allowance your sewing allowance and inside here come in half inch half inch half inch half inch okay so that's how you do it all right <laughs> So you are going to cut two of these and then you need to cut lining because you need to finish here nicely. Okay, so I'm going to quickly move on to the front. The front is basically the same thing. here i'm just trying to retake what i use for the front hem so 6.5 you know how we got the 6.5 right so here <clears throat> the same thing move up by 2 8 okay oh sorry move up by half inch here okay at the shoulder point here and then you want to connect it you can connect it with a straight line okay and then you curve it to meet this I want to do this way. So, so if for this for this process, so for this process, if you have a um, what is it called? If you have a hip curve or a curve, a nice curve that will just you know transition, you can use it. Okay. So here is going to be a bit straight. So I'm going. I'm just using my hand. Okay. Okay. okay so can you see so can you see how it is okay can you see the pattern now all right so now this is the back this is how you just cut the back all right so you just cut it this way So can you see it? So the back, this is just the back. Okay, so for the back, you don't need to do the back alteration. Okay, that's the um, the half back length. For my advanced students, they know what the half back length means. Okay, so you don't need to do the half back length. The, the back is going to just be straight. Okay, and then you cut the back on fold. Okay, you cut the back on fold. The front, okay, the front will not be on fold all right the front will not be on fold okay and then for the neckline the neckline um, and then for the collar the collar is either a mandarin collar you can do a mandarin collar you can do a neckline curved band okay and um, yeah you can do, do any of the two bands but i'm not looking at the band for this video i'm just looking at this wonderful design okay the star line and everything okay so can you see it's wonderful nice all right 
so guys here is the finished work okay so this is just me cutting out okay it's just a rough job just for you to see how it will be okay so this is what we have the front center front is now unfold okay and this is the opening now you have a seam from the from the shoulder down to your length okay and um it's it's a wonderful lovely style okay so guys let me know if you try it in the in the comment section okay don't forget to subscribe bye love you